Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Hope it's all fantastic and wonderful. I hope you had a great New Year's. Uh, we had a good New Year's here. Uh, spent time with kids. We stayed up late, played video games, hung out, went to bed, had a good weekend. But uh, I want to talk about <laughs> I want to talk about my I guess my relationship. I don't know. I don't know what I want to talk about. We might end up talking about relationships quite a bit this week because I have thoughts, and I have thoughts because of an encounter I had this week. We went shopping uh, on New Year's Eve because the kids wanted to get some stuff, and I ran into a friend of mine, uh, and uh, you know we talked about life and stuff, and then he told me you know he saw the news about my my recent engagement. And that conversation, I've had that conversation now with multiple people. And so to give some perspective, I have four good friends that I have had since high school. Um, of the five of us, all five of us have been married. Uh, of the five of us, four of us have been divorced. The one that is not divorced has only been married for a short time. But he's been with his, his wife now for years and years and years, like probably 15, I don't know, a very long time he's been with her. Of the four of us who have been married uh, and divorced, one of us remarried. He got remarried, he, he, only, he was only married to his first wife for a few years and then divorced and then uh, got remarried within maybe two or three years after that. I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't a whole long time. The other three of us have not been remarried. Two of us were in long marriages. Um, me and my one friend, we, we were married basically the same amount of time. He got, he got divorced a couple of years before I did, so like 14, 15 years, something like that. Uh, the other friend um, was married, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing like five-ish years, six-ish years. The, the one that I ran to on, on Friday was married like five or six years, I think. Um, all five of us have kids. The, f of the four of us that have been divorced, only the one that remarried did not have kids with his first wife. The rest of us all had kids with our first wife. The guy who got remarried had kids with his second wife. So, immediately, from my perspective, divorce is not an uncommon thing, right? With my, within my friend group. Friend group. Uh, what is uncommon is remarrying. And I've had this conversation now with multiple people where they, they see my engagement and they go like, well, I guess congratulations. Like almost as if I am like, you know, admitting defeat or something because, because being single is awesome. And that just seems to be like the normal guy response. Uh, it seems to be the expectation that if you're married, and especially if you're married for a long time, I was married... Uh, legally on paper for like 17 years, I think. Um, you know, we didn't live together for the last three years of that. We didn't live, we, we weren't in a healthy relationship for at least seven of those years, eight of those years. So, you know, whatever, it is what it is. But uh, to say that I'm getting remarried, people look at me like concerned. Like, are you sure? Is that really you're going to do that? Like, why would you do that to yourself? And, and the short answer is, M is amazing. And, and she wants to be married. She wants to have a normal relationship. She wants to experience the world together. And um, I, she's been in my life now for four years. And I don't want to think about my life without her in it. So, yeah, why wouldn't I get married again? Uh, was my divorce hard? Yeah, it was very hard. Uh, it was not an easy thing to go through, uh, especially considering the fact that I have children that had to go through it with me. But what has happened uh, because of that divorce? My, my children have got to see their dad happy. They've got to see... I've got to be a better father because of it, because I'm not worried about... I don't have the stress of a partner that I'm not interested in, that, that isn't interested in me, and that I have to feel frustrated by constantly. That's not on my plate anymore. So they've got to see me be happy. They've got to see me be 
Uh, I've got to be a better father because of it. They've got to see their mother be strong and be independent and be, uh, you know, take charge of situations because she didn't have a fallback. Because I, you know, not to say that I was there to catch her because I'm a, you know, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they got to see a strong uh, female figure in their life who took the took, took charge and and made something of it, right? So they got to see a whole lot of different perspectives that they wouldn't have seen had we stayed together. And they also get to see, you know, my kids didn't, they didn't live in a broken home, meaning that like mom and dad didn't, we didn't fight and throw fits and, and cause a lot of, you know, problems around our children. We didn't even do that in private, but they also didn't get to see, um, they didn't get to see a lot of love between me and their mom, uh, but they do get to see, and, and so I, I guess they didn't get to see a healthy relationship. They do get to see a healthy relationship between me and him. They get to see how a relationship's supposed to work. They get to see the backs and forth, the ups and downs. They're, you know, is Anne and Mai's relationship perfect? No, nope, it's not. It, you know, there is no such thing as a perfect relationship. If you believe in that, you're still juvenile and you need to grow up because it doesn't exist. They take work, all of them. And uh, Em and I work on our relationship constantly, and my kids get to see that. So they, there are a whole lot of benefits um, to to my relationship with Em. There are a whole lot of benefits um, for both myself and her and our relationship, but also my children from seeing uh, what this relationship can become, right? What what we can be together. Uh, and, and truthfully, you know, as it stands right now, <sighs> my relationship's not going to be a whole lot different just because there's a piece of paperwork that says we are legally bound, right? My relationship is what it is because we are strong together and that's, that's not going to change, right? So there's nothing big and scary about getting married again. Um, you know, M is the kind of person that has, uh, she puts a whole lot of thought into things, the same as I do. And neither of us are going to make any harsh decisions or rash decisions about our future together. And if it ever came down to a point where we would have to reconcile or resolve uh, all of our all of our things, I don't it's not going to be, you know, I'm not giving up anything. Right? I think that's the secret, right? If you're giving up things to be in a relationship with somebody, that's probably the wrong relationship for you, <laughs> right? And I think that um, I'm not giving up anything to be in a relationship with him. Nothing. I mean, nothing. And that's the power of a healthy relationship. And I think that all of my friends who have been divorced, who have been through the ringer, and have not gone back, have that same, they're still gun shy about it, because there, there is a whole lot of, of giving up in a relationship where things aren't going well. And that's what leads to divorce, right? Uh, I've been through that. I know what that looks like. And this, this, this relationship doesn't look anything like that. I'm not scared of it at all. In fact, I'm elated for it. So, you know, just a weird random thought that, that got, um, that put relationship stuff in my head all weekend. Uh, so we might end up talking about it a little bit this week. Uh, but thank you to everybody who has given us warm wishes. It really feels good to let, to know that, um, so many of you care, so many of you, uh, um, see the change in me and appreciate it and are supportive of it. That means a lot. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is jinn. It is a noun meaning a mythical creature created from fire long before man established the earth. Inhabited the earth. Unless it established. Failing in their rebellion against God, the jinn were banished to the deserts. Jinn. J-I-N-N. Um, I've always seen that spelled with a D. So I don't know if this is specifically the gins, like the genies, or if this is something different. I'll have to, I'll have to look that one up.